From Seed to Plant by Gail Gibbons. Most plants make seeds. A seed contains the beginning of a new plant. Seeds are different shapes, sizes, and colors. All seeds grow into the same kind of plant that made them. Many plants grow flowers. Flowers are where most seeds begin. Tulip, daisy, rose, pea, buttercup, corn. A flower is made up of many parts. At the bottom of the pistil are tiny egg cells called ovules. In the center of the flower is the pistil. The sticky part at the top of the pistil is the stigma. Stamens make yellow power, powder called pollen. The parts of the flower around the pistil are stamens. Before a seed can begin to grow, a grain of pollen from the stamen must land on the stigma at the top of the pistil of a flower like itself. This is called pollination. Pollination happens in different ways. Often wind blows pollen from flower to flower. Bees, other insects, and hummingbirds help pollinate too. While they visit flowers for their sweet juice called nectar, pollen rubs their bodies. Then they carry the pollen to another flower where it comes off on its pistil. If a pollen grain from a flower lands on the pistil of the same kind of flower, it grows a long tube through the pistil into an ovule. This is the beginning of a seed. The seed grows inside the flower even as the flower begins to die. As the seed becomes bigger, a fruit or pod grows around them. The fruit or pod protects the seeds. When the fruit or pod ripens, it breaks open. The seeds are ready to become new plants. Some seeds fall to the ground around the base of the plant where they will grow. Some pods or fruits open and the seeds pop out. Sometimes when birds eat berries, they drop the seeds. Other seeds fall into streams, ponds, rivers, or the ocean. There they are travel in the water until they stick to dirt along a shore. The wind scatters seeds. Some seeds have fluff on them that lets them float to the ground like tiny parachutes. Others have wings that spin as they fall. Animals help scatter seeds too. They hide acorns and nuts in the ground. Some seeds have hooks that stick to the fur of animals or people's clothes. Later they drop onto the ground. A flower bed or vegetable garden is beautiful. Seeds are planted to grow in the gardens. The seeds come in the small envelope or boxes. Directions explain how to plant the seeds and care for the plants. The beginning of a plant is curled up inside each seed. Food is stored inside the seed too. The seed has a seed coat on the outside to protect it. Bean, food, beginning of plant, seed coat. A seed will not sprout until certain things happen. First, it must be in or on the soil. Then it needs rain to soak the seed and soften its seed coat. When the sun shines and warms the ground, the seed coat breaks open and the seeds begin to grow. This is called germination. A root grows down into the soil. The root takes in water and minerals from the soil for food. Up grows a shoot. Green leaves grow up from the shoot towards the sun. The plant grows bigger and bigger. The leaves make food from the plant from the water and the minerals in the soil, the sunlight, and the air all around the plant. Finally, a plant is full grown. Buds on the plant open into the flower where new seeds will grow. Many of the foods people eat are seeds, fruits, and pods. They are full of nutrition, vitamins, and minerals. And they're tasty too. From Seed to Plant Project. How to raise bean plants. Find a clean glass jar. Take a piece of black construction paper and roll it up. Step two, slide the paper into the jar. Fill the jar with water. Step three, wedge the bean seeds between the black paper and the glass. Put the jar in a warm place. Step four, in a few days the seeds will begin to sprout. Watch the roots grow down. The shoots will grow up. Watching your bean seeds while they sprout. Caring for your bean plants. Put dirt into a big clay pot. Carefully remove the small plants from the glass jar. Place them in the soil, covering them up to the base of their shoots. 
water them and watch them grow.